Matthew, many thanks. Now, the largest study of its kind ever conducted here in the UK has highlighted an occasional link between the life-saving antibiotics used during operations and some potentially life-threatening allergic reactions during surgery. The study took four years and looked at millions of operations. The numbers of death, 10, is statistically very low, but the implications of the findings are important. We'll talk about that with Professor Tim Cook from the University of Bristol, um, who's one of the authors of the report. Professor Cook, what are those implications then of your findings? Because the, the percentage of the death or the number of the deaths is quite low. Yes, it, it's a small number of deaths, but I think these are, these are important events. So, uh, th- as you say, this is a big study. We looked at um, severe allergic reactions uh, in the context of about 3 million um, operations and anaesthetics in the um, NHS, and there are about 300 of these life-threatening events. And I'm pleased to say the vast majority of the patients were resuscitated safely by their anaesthetists and survived. Um, but for a small number of people, uh, this led to life-changing um, events or even their deaths. And we found that antibiotics, and this is the first study to identify this, that we found that antibiotics were the first, um, most important and uh, commonest drugs uh, to cause these very severe reactions. And, I mean, in that case, could could there be a test, for example, for allergic reactions um, before antibiotics are administered? Sure. Um, about 10% of people, um, when they come to hospital, say they're allergic to antibiotics, particularly to penicillins. And we know that about 90% of those people who say they're allergic aren't, in fact, allergic. And one of the, one of the key findings was that sometimes we use drugs to avoid penicillin, so to avoid that allergy, but actually we, we, we end up using drugs that are both, both less effective and also more likely to cause allergy. So you're quite right. In a proportion of patients... Um, particularly those who are uh, going to need antibiotics um, and who believe themselves to be allergic, there probably should be more testing. Now, one of the challenges is that uh, a key finding in the study was also that there aren't enough allergy clinics or drug allergy clinics in the UK to investigate the patients when they have the reactions, never mind to investigate them mm. to identify the allergy before they even turn up to a hospital. So what you're saying is, or the findings mean that it, it's not that we shouldn't use antibiotics, but that they should be managed a bit better. Yeah, it, the, the term that people use is antibiotic stewardship, um, and that's using these, <clears throat> as, you, as you said, life-saving drugs as best as we can. So we want to use them only when we need them. We want to use them uh, in the most effective way, and that means using them um, as, as infrequently as possible. Right. So in this study, we found that 60% of people um, who have an operation have, a, have an antibiotic at that time. So there's a question as to whether all those patients need those antibiotics, okay. and then if we can target those target the choice of antibiotics better. Uh, Professor Tim Cook, many thanks for joining us. Professor Tim Cook there from the University of Bristol.